everyone, what about here, and welcome to Solar Ash. I keep feeling like there should be a third thing there. Hyperlight Drifter is the prequel to the prequel, kind of? Previous game that Heart Machine made, and now they made this one. And Annapurna Interactive was kind enough to reach out and send us a copy. Uh, we're playing on PS5 for reasons. I'm going to take a very quick look at the controls. Uh, I mean, we need to get are... more use out of our PS5. Yeah. The Get edge of the ultra void, a world eating black Can hole. Can you restart that? The edge of the ultra void, a world eating black hole. Nothing can stop it from consuming another planet except the star seed, a colossal device hypothesized to destroy black holes. Its creators, the void runners, have embarked on an impossible mission to save their home. The final member, Ray, has reached the event horizon but lost all communication. Leaving everything behind, she prepares to pass through the cusp of reality. So I assume this is Ray then? Guess so. God, that looks sick. Yeah, the cusp of reality. I don't the, know. The how... time space moving around a black hole. I'm gonna have to turn the volume back down. I turned it up a little bit, thinking it'd be fine, but it is not. There we go. That should be better. Another one. I told you all to leave me alone. It's a combination of Sonic and Hornet. It definitely has that, like, needle feel to it, yeah. Oh, wait. So there was some kind of bizarre stellar entity yeah, that like was Yeah, like a fragmented woman? woman. Yeah. Landing site, Ashen Ruins. Oh, gosh, this is gorgeous. Well, you really like the... I really like low flat. poly mm -hmm. when it's done well. There's dialogue, but it's yeah, there is. very quiet. It's very quiet. Oh, boy. Audio balance is the true final boss. All right, time to mess with some wait, things. Wait, wait. Is it cons voice volume is 100%, yeah. but sound effects... Mm. This might take a little bit of configuration until we get it right. Unless, of course, they've tied certain voice acting to sound effects, at which point I'm going to be upset. Ah, uh, you know, that could be the case. Cutscene volume versus the utterances that she might have when reacting to new I think it, I think this is better. We'll see how it goes. So, skating. Oh, I can double jump. It's just there's that Are thing. Are you supposed to activate it or just... Leave? Yeah, I don't know. It seems like something I could collect, but it might just not be. Well, you're collecting these red droplets, whatever yeah. they are. Uh, I'm not even hearing your footfalls at this point. I, yeah. Can... Audio balance is the true final boss. Yeah, the sound effects are real quiet. Yeah, it's because you turned them down. Well, because the... The character voices were so quiet. We'll see how it goes. I'll just have to normalize it. It's okay. really disconcerting when you're playing a game and you can't hear all those audio cues. Yeah. But just at the same time, I know if it gets louder, it might blow out our ear eardrums. Shield kit. The crew must be nearby. Okay, that's a little better. Uh, let's see, what's it at? I'm going to keep messing. Yeah, is it just the music that's super loud? I can't tell because there were some sound effects earlier that, that were quite loud. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you My turned sense up of hearing master. is also kind of messed up uh, due to being used to. Uh, uh, let's see. Ooze. What's this ooze? Ick. Nothing I can deal with yet. There's something about black ooze challenges in the menu. Mm -hmm. When we were checking the difficulty settings. But yeah, my aerospecs have thrown off my hearing pretty bad. I am not used to listening to the... Oh my gosh, that looks cool. I am not used to li... I'm not used to listening to things with my regular planet. headphones. It's in the Ultra Void's pull. But it's not too late. This is Ray. 
Can any Void Runners hear me? I'm looking at the Star Seed. It's intact but not operational. Scanning for conduits. I love the fact that we're upside down. Let's turn it on. Wait. What's the What? If you can hear this, just ran into some kind of massive serpent anomaly. Watch yourselves. I think the wild part about sound balance for me is Yeah, I can skate on this stuff. Is that it varies from game to game. Like every game is gonna have a completely different sound setup and there's no way to Let's figure out. My still work. Did all this emerge from this sword or this spike that's embedded in the earth? Maybe. I guess let's deal with this. I wanted to go off target, but no, let's do this first. Looks like this has some pretty heavy collectathon aspects to it. Signal interference Initializing in safe mode. Hello, user. We are Sid. Centralized Yadabyte database. Awaiting input. Um, Sid? It's Ray. What happened to you? Where's the team? We are Sid. Systems offline. Anomalous impediments detected. Sending locations data to your multi-tool. There's no way I can activate the star seed without Sid. Better scan for these anomalies and hope there's a way to remove the interference. Greater landing site. So, large quantity of anomalous material blocking signal. Okay, so he's just telling you to scan to detect interfering signal sources. So this device is the star seed then. But they need to reactivate it. The star seed, it. I think, is that glowy thing at the top. Yeah. This is just that. All right. Well, we got a number of places ch to check out. And I wonder if the serpent's going to detect your presence. I bet we have to kill it you? to get up there. I don't think it's going to go after us now. But I think once we've activated Sid, then it comes down to attack us and we have to take it out. I wonder if the... Is this just health? Or what are we collecting these droplets? I don't know. I see 30 of them and there's kind of a bar that fills up as we do. Uh, it's probably every like 25 or something. For now. Oh, shields are probably b the blue. Oh, then I don't know what the yeah, green might be. so we only have like two shield points. Oh, that's a creature. Not for long. Yeah, it seems as though the ooze likes to manifest itself inside these solid bone structures. Because even the serpent creature up there has a segmented carapace. Yeah. But then again, so too does the main protagonist. Yeah. If you notice the mask. I'm getting a very strong, like, bleach vibe from the creatures, admittedly. Oh! You can climb the ooze. Oh, that was worth a lot. Oh, wow. Yep, that it was. Oh, also... There's, I don't know if that's another shield box. Yeah, it's or just a it's... shield box, at least to my knowledge. It could be a currency that we used to upgrade. I'm not sure. Their last game was wildly different from this, so like I truly do not know what I'm getting into. I'm also discovering that Shell had greasy fingers the last time she used this controller. Hey, no, well, what, what stick, happened was we had played. Slidey. We had played hours, hours of Final Fantasy for days. Yeah. That's what. Oh. Let me plasma let me banked? There we go. Okay, that's better. Yeah, plasma blank. Oh, blip, 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 blip. This must be one of those anomalies. Better clear it out. My assumption is plasma is the uh the red stuff that we've been finding. Ow. Ow. Did you well. you perished? Destroyed. Looks like I'm fine. Okay, there we go. So you only have one health? Uh, two. Well, I suppose blue is shield, green is your your health. Yeah, so when we hit these checkpoints, it probably banks to whatever the amount of plasma we have, and whenever we 
Uh, whenever we die, we go back down to what we had before, but we might be able to get back. Oh, that didn't work. Okay, so it doesn't want me to be on it for very long. Mm -hmm. At least that segment. How do you feel about the voice acting so far? Oh, it's... I, unexpected mm -hmm. for me. I like it. Oh. Oh, I see. Oh, is it a timer? Yeah, it's probably How... a time challenge thing. I don't know if there's more I can do. So you essentially have to set it off and then platform... Oh, there's an eyeball up there. Spike it. Well. Well then. Oh. Uh, the eye uh, transferred to the creature? Uh, the eye will remember that. And then you clear out this particular area? Is that what's going to happen? Looks like it. One down, Some of the goop sticks around. But there's still interference. Ah, uh, you know what this game needs? Hmm. A glide. It doesn't, actually. Okay. Yeah, I bet this is kind of just the tutorial zone where we learn how to do everything. Yeah, that makes and sense. that probably after we're done with the snake, that's when the game opens up. Maybe well, we there seem to be some side again. paths that exit this particular valley. Like that one, yeah. for instance, up ahead. Yeah, probably doesn't open until we've messed with the starseed. Looks like the basic plasma might reset. But that the other stuff does not. Hmm. You can maybe do something with this, but... Ooh, my head. Yeah, she didn't like it. Perhaps more of the interference or whatever it was giving off before? Yeah. Oh, hey! What's, I wonder what that symbol's for. You mean the thing up above? No, no, no. There was a circular symbol that appeared on the edge of the cliff, right there. See how it glows down oh, there? Oh, I do see Avoid it. Avoid runner cache. Please tell me the logs are intact. A suit upgrade? No. They have to be okay. I just need to find the other void runners. So do you think in the process of being implanted the star seed in fact released whatever this was? Maybe. Maybe. But also, what did that woman say before she pushed you off into this realm in the first place? Not another one. Right, so... Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Yeah, so maybe it's the Void Runners are trying to deal with her in particular. Yeah, that something about that that weird fragmented woman is some kind of uh, sentient entity? Yeah, affiliated with this, of the Void. Uh, yeah. Oh, gravity. That's cool. That, this is really neat. Their last game, Hyperlight Drifter, was like really hardcore uh, when it came to combat. I can like, tell they have similar color palettes. Yeah. Uh, the art direction, I would say, despite the fact that like one is pixel art, 
And this one is kind of a lovely... It's it's not low poly, but it evokes similar feelings. Well, look at that tree back there. Can you step back a moment? Because that's that's low poly, right? Uh, low poly. Or is it the low shading? It's not. Like okay, so it it is and it isn't. Because it almost looks as though the each of those segments could be a flat. Well, yeah, uh, ish. I mean, you can you can definitely see there's there's a little some bit pitting more. though. Yeah, what they did specifically was they baked the lighting into the textures mm -hmm. of the tree uh, and gave it a cell shaded look instead, which is actually a really nice, like, look. Um, and so, like, yeah, it's it's definitely low poly around, like, some of the architecture, but not in the same way that, say, uh, Ooh, For the King was. That's going to have an eye that opens up, isn't it? Gotta find a way to that... Oops. Oh. I can grapple a longer distance if I activate my time slip gear. Time slip. I don't know what that is. Yep. There you go. Oh, another eye to stab. Well. And they really do look like needles. Yeah. Because they have a, a head on one end. I love that loading, like that transition screen. Mm, the splash. That looks so cool. Two down. There must be one more. Well, there's this peculiar structure off to the right. Yeah, I'm just checking to see if there's any loot. Because the last one had a secret cache. Yeah, what is this goop that you like landed in? Water cloud mm -hmm. stuff. I'd care more about what it is. But this game I every once in a while you play a game that is just, just otherworldly enough that you're just kinda like, yeah, whatever, I'm cool with it. Like suspension of disbelief is gone. Who who even minds? I don't. Mm hmm There's some games where like suspension of disbelief is important, but Oh, you have to go up? Uh-oh. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's that's quite there. the distance. I'm just gonna let it reset. Well, actually, it looks like the time limit... It's pretty generous. Mm -hmm. But... Yeah, there it goes. I'd rather kill all these nukes first. Mm -hmm. They don't seem to respawn, do they? Not to my knowledge, no. Ow. Oh. Okay. Thank goodness. I hope that you get more health along the way. I mean, it looks like we go at least up to five pips. But like I said, it doesn't feel like combat is this game's core focus in the same way that Hyperlight Drifter was. Like, you really had to do some tough fights and bullet hell nonsense in that one. This seems a lot more... Um... Yep. Yeah, it just looks to be like a floating aisle. Oh yeah. wait, ooh, there's a large crystal. Yeah, I'd spotted this earlier. And wanted to see if there's anything else. I wonder if we get more accessories. I you kinda got some stuff in hold. We'll have to see if there are upgrades. I mean, we got we're clearly blank, uh, blanking, banking plasma for a reason. Mm -hmm. Oh, you're gonna try hook shotting? I don't. You need a point to grapple to, though. Oh. You don't know what to do with that. Are you sure it wouldn't be swifter to go around where all those creatures were? Yeah, I'm wondering that. Because I remember that you almost made it up to the eye. In time, mm -hmm. yeah. I bet that's it. Because you're almost there. There you go. There we go.
Ugh. Greater Ouroboros. Massive anomaly. Well, I think it's now fightable. Ah, oh, but it's not nibbling its tail. Or there aren't two of them nibbling on one another's tails. True. I guess I made it mad. Here goes nothing. Because that's what Ouroboros is. Oh, well, there's one eye. Gotta reach the tail. Should time slip to close the distance. Oh, they want you to start there. Oh, well. Oh, oh there's the flame. Ah. There we go. So there, oh, there's a gem of some sort up there? And a weird tumor on his back. Okay, so some of the armor is disintegrating. Yeah, so it looks like the path gets more complicated. That worked. It's getting weaker. Gosh. You know what sucks? Hmm. How the heck am I going to come up with the top games of this year for us? <laughs> oh, you can even tell. It's got three, um... Uh... It has three eyes. Yeah. But I wonder if you'll actually start to be able to stab them out as soon as you get rid of these segments. Oh no, the ooze. Ow. Okay, Ooh. looks like I'm fine. Yeah, oh, checkpoint's do you have to still restart there. that? No. Oh. Yes and no. I have to restart this segment. But now you don't even have the shielding. Yee. Ah, shoot. <laughs> nope. Destroyed. Oh, I bet now I've lost it. I shouldn't have been impatient. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm going to have to redo. Well, because... Well, I don't know. He still looks messed up. There are some... Yeah, there's a shield capsule. Yeah, yeah. So I'm, I'm not too worried about this. And it's not as though he's on the offensive. He's not no, it's, it's kind of more of just a platforming challenge. The music is oddly like a dance. You know? <laughs> more like a dance of death. There we go. So Much easier. I assume that's what's sending out the red pulses then. But, uh, you know, having played Shadow of the Colossus this year, Just this is down. very similar, at least in terms of core concepts. You know, grapple do, onto large creatures. Yeah, grapple, hit, well, climb onto large creature. Hit we, oh, that looks like a ruined ship in the distance. Uh, do you believe that the last couple tries? Ooh, that was a close one. There we go. Last couple tries. I had forgotten about the skate button. <laughs> I was just doing dashes. This is so stylish. Wow. But yeah, it is uh -oh. very much like a waltz. Uh-oh. You again. An end, a beginning, a round we go. Well, it seems as though she's been stabbed by one of the needles as well. Yeah. What is this place? Who are you? I was someone once, but no longer. Now I am merely an echo. I don't have time for this. How do I get out of here? I have heard that question so many times before. Useless as ever. That's enough! Send me back or get out of my way! I'm not in your way. The only thing standing between you and your 
precious starseed are remnants. Remnants of lost hope. Nothing more. That remnant nearly killed me. But I won't let that stop me from saving my people. Yes, yes. You need to fix everything. Ever the hero. I grow tired of this. Weird. Oh. Oh, so that's how many remnants you'll have to destroy? Probably. To get to the star scene? Ooh. <laughs> well. I'm surprised we didn't actually have to stab any of the eyes for that creature except for the one on its yeah, head. Yeah, we were just stabbing the tumors. Worm Slayer. Ray, you made it. Are you all right? Sid, I'm not sure. I might be seeing things. The Ultra Void is known to have deleterious effects on biotic life forms. And it seems to have had quite an effect on us as well. We spent a very uncomfortable amount of time in safe mode. I'm just glad you're back online. Can you contact the rest of the Void Runners now that the interference is gone? Hmm. We cannot connect to Starseed conduits in any other sectors. Their signals must also be blocked by those anomalies. The remnants. Ah, remnants. Yes. If you remove these remnants, our network communication should resume, and we will be able to activate the Starseed, collapse the Ultra Void, and thereby release our planet from its perilous gravitational pull. If the conduits are already set up, then the other Void Runners must have made it. We hope so too, Ray. We wish we could be more helpful, but our memories appear to be incomplete. All right, Sid. I'll reconnect with the other runners and reactivate your notes. Be careful, Ray. We're in this together. We'll help however we can. How can you help? We have many starseed conduits throughout the Ultra Void. They were placed to collect environmental data and calculate energy frequencies. Conduits also function as teleport pads, repair stations, and info hubs. How much do you remember about our mission? The Ultra Void is pulling our planet into its orbit. We need to activate the Starseed in order to collapse the Ultra Void, rendering it inert. I'm glad you didn't lose all your memory, Sid. I'm glad you remember me. Of course we do. You have any questions about our mission? Yeah, so... Yeah, the, how did we get into the black hole? Because... Here. Was it the their planets being drawn in? But it yeah. seems as though the Void Runners were they they're definitely an established yeah, group they that's have been studying tech to potentially collapse a black hole. Mm hmm. Let's do the yeah. How do we get into a black hole? I mean, a black hole can appear when a star goes supernova, depending on the type of star it is. Particularly blue ones, I think, are susceptible to that. Mm hmm. But, yeah, how did it show up? Sid, remind me how we were able to enter a black hole. With Void Tech, of course. Oh, they intentionally went in? We Void Runners are among the very few who have managed to harness and experiment with the properties of Void Energy. By combining protons and antiprotons in a controlled way, we are able to produce massive amounts of energy. This energy can be used for scanning, shielding, attacking, or even as fuel for your grab boosters. Without it, you would have been crushed to death. Oh, lovely. Very comforting, Sid. Okay. Yeah. I mean, I mean I'm betting it's going to be in the millions or billions. Maybe. But let's see how many people are still left. How many people are still on our home planet? Our world has attempted to evacuate as many people as it could. But most citizens do not own spacecraft capable of leaving the planet's orbit. In addition, many of our larger ships were already off-planet, 
exploring parts of the galaxy unknown. We don't know exactly how many, but a substantial percentage of our planet's population is still there, trapped. Uh, percentage doesn't give an exact amount, but... Is there any other way to stop this? Is there any other way to stop this? There were many proposed solutions, but our planet's nations and governments debated the best course of action, while we slipped further and further into the pull of the Ultra Void. Ah, huh. I mean, isn't that always the case? Yep. Debating on the best course of action, but... Instead of actually doing it, any mm -hmm. of the good ideas? Ultimately, a solution could not be agreed upon, and the debate only led to more division and bloodshed. That's why the Void Runners took it upon themselves to solve this problem in their own unorthodox way. Wait, so to deal with the issue, it led to war and unrest on their planet, and they're just <laughs> freaking morons. Well, I mean, I mean, yeah, so the Void sure. Runners take it upon themselves, but uh, what, what, it hits home. What will it be left? What will be left to save? Okay. I mean, Void Tech, we can surmise, is the means by which they can manipulate this energy and breach the Void, but let's ask about Fill it. Fill me in on the history of Void Tech. The Void Runners unearthed an ancient artifact while exploring deep beneath our planet's crest. We don't fully understand who or what originally made it, but we have adapted it for our needs. Its discovery paved the way for the creation of the Star Seed. That doesn't sound suspicious. An yeah. ancient artifact that gave them this technology? Yeah. I mean... Maybe it'll be fine, or maybe it's the Echo Lady. I mean, it could have been the Echo Lady, which is why she, in particular, has such animosity towards Void Runners, and is also impaled by a giant needle. But we'll see. The capabilities of Void Tech are immeasurable. It can control particles that exist and don't exist at the same time. Such entanglement is still beyond the understanding of traditional science, but we've found it quite practical as a tool to move swiftly through the hazards of space and to contain and utilize great amounts of energy. Well, one thing I must point out is that if it can harness energies of things that exist and do not exist, where does the the material from the do not exist quotient come from? Is it from somewhere else or is it from a past or future other nebulous time? I mean, yeah. So there's always negative consequences to something like that. It's space wizards. <laughs> Keep rolling. Okay. Well, it looks like uh, we've already asked all these questions. Let's go back. So, yeah, let's ask about the remnants then. What do you know about the remnants? Not much. But we were able to unscramble some of our data readings from your encounters with them. What are the temperature readings? Did you get a temperature reading on them? They seem to have an extremely variable temperature. In a docile state, it is roughly 310 degrees Belkin. However, they can rapidly increase their temperatures. We are not sure exactly how high, but based on our energy readings, temperatures can approach 10,000 degrees Belkin. Please be careful. I mean, it's a good defense mechanism, that's for sure. If you stay in contact with one for too long, you might evaporate. Though... That's an interesting thing to say when I do not know what substance our character is even made out of. <laughs> yeah, is that a spacesuit or are we actually just void people? Is vapor at the moment. I mean, this Sid, is it an AI? Yeah. Okay, so it's only probably dressed to resemble. Yeah. But it's interesting how their one arm is actually just two tendrils of light with Which I think hands. is a really cool design. Yeah, yeah, it's it's an interesting concept for something akin to a, a cybernetics. It looks like there's another cord da draped down as though there's another one, or like there was one and it's loose. Mm hmm. Okay, yeah. 
Why are they interrupting your signals? Why are they interrupting your signal? I'm not entirely sure, but they emit a powerful chaotic signal that's completely scrambling our communications. If they are attempting to communicate, they are doing it in a highly disordered way. Do they have any weaknesses? Well, there's the eyeballs. Stab them in the pustule. Pustules, eyeballs, you know. The soft bits. <laughs> Those tend to be a favorite. Do they have any weaknesses? The remnants seem to be driven by a heavily fortified primary energy source. Multi-tool scans show a complex nervous system attached to the primary energy core. Attacking certain nerve endings causes the energy core to be exposed. All right. How do I find these weak points? How do I find these weak points? Your multi-tool has been tuned to detect higher concentrations of the remnant's energy, as well as that energy's flow through its nervous system. It will do its best to project the locations of exposed nerves and energy on a remnant. All right, let's go back. Actually, I need else? something else. Oh, interesting. I found a Void Runner log. Can you hail the Polaris? Other questions? Scan for caches? Change your suit? Repair shield cell? Well. Oh, wait, because you lost one to yeah. the. No, um. The repair shield cell, I believe, gives increases like our max health. So do that. But see, it brought it back. What happened was when Finished Echo crushed us. Oh. When Echo crushed us, she destroyed the blue dot. Yeah, maybe. So now we got it back with 500 plasma. Which is interesting, because now we only have seven. Yeah. Here. What? What's wrong? Well, How you're we done with you? lore. Well, the thing is, there's also Certainly. the Void Runner log and... Oh. Damage suit. We want the Tempest ass. Don't we? Okay. Yeah, I was wondering what the differences were because I couldn't see them. Can you scan for Void Runner caches in the sector? Scanning. You have recovered all of the Void Runner logs in this sector. How can we help you? Well, you should probably ask okay. about the I found log. A Void Runner log. It sounds like they crash landed. No sign of the team. We're sorry, Ray. We're as mystified as you are. If you can retrieve more of their logs, it may help defragment our memory cells. I've been radioing my ship, but haven't had any response. Can you hail the XR Polaris? Hmm. It appears the remnants are blocking our signal. We will keep monitoring that wavelength in case a signal gets through. We see you've done some repairs to your shields, but they are still damaged. Please, take this plasma. You can utilize it for further maintenance. Thanks, Sid. Wait, so can you actually build it back further? Yeah. So could you fill in all of those red areas with blue? Probably. I'm gonna get over here. Yeah, but you're not gonna be able to fill any up because you don't have any extra shield slots. Yeah. So do you want to upgrade for extra shield sure. slots? Let's see if we can upgrade to two. Okay. Welcome back, Ray. What can we do for you? Uh -huh. Finish. How can we help you? See you, Sid. Okay, so hopefully those are permanent now. Unless Echo destroys yeah. one every single time you encounter her after fighting a remnant. She could be that stinky. Mm-hmm. Hopefully there's more things to spend my juice, I mean, it looks juice like on than just there's that. There's a crystal up there on the yeah, left. Yeah, I'm heading for it. Mm-hmm. Just takes a little bit to get up. Ah, it's so slick. And it really is so slick. This game is incredible, and I love it. But this is a good stopping point. We've taken out our first Colossus and are moving on to the next zone. And I think I'm I'm not going to be able to do one Colossus per video just because that might get a little long. Uh, especially because there's a lot more stuff to do in each region. The first one is very short, and the next area is a lot more exploration and a little bit more involved getting the Colossus down. Uh, that said, for those of you wondering, uh, this is going to be a series. It's going to be a, not a pure platinum series, but it's going to be a 100% uh, series as far as content goes. There's a bunch of side quests, uh, side characters to kind of follow their story, 
and a bunch of audio logs to find, and we're gonna find all of them before and or after, just around fighting the Colossi. We're gonna have to repeat a little bit of this for tomorrow with proper commentary, but it's fine. It's either that or I jump ahead in spoilers. Uh, I guess it's a little spoilers, but still. Uh, but this is going to be a complete series, for sure. I just love it too much. It's great. Uh, so I should probably mention that this game is available on the Epic Game Store and PlayStation, at least at the moment, uh, PlayStation 4 and 5. And it's 35 bucks, I think, which is maybe a little steep for the length for some people, but an incredibly great product, and I'd say it's worth it, purely just from the visual design, the gameplay. There's nothing like oh, this, I except for, like, maybe the Pathless, and that's about it. And, like, I have nothing but praise for this so far. And I, when I was talking about the length, I think it's about 10 to 13 hours, give or take. We're halfway there, but the first half of this game is a lot shorter than the second, as far as I can tell. Uh, but, with all that said, if you guys like this video in any way, shape, or form, leave us a like, helps more than you know. And if you want to see more, hit subscribe, because, like I said, we're going to the end, and it's going to be a lot of fun. So with that, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.